Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem is one of mine and comes from a unfinished, un, mostly unpublished series uh, that was entitled Letters to the Unknown Wife. Uh, this is Letter 50. Someone, I tell you, will remember us if only by what remains in these letters grown gray with dust sunk into the shadow and depths of boxes, shelves, and drawers, these lines I meant to give you, if I had but a place or a name to lay down beside my words, if longing were enough, the shape of a heart or what it leaves, the curve of rain over an arm out of a window, the sound of trains in the yard, in the fog, outside the city where the hills rise into darkness, what I glimpse through the streaked windshield of my car in the last blows of a storm, before night opens wide, like a sudden view of white flowers in a dark field. Someone will remember us, the woman filling her glass in the river, the man watching the horse drown in the waves. Um, so that was uh, Letter 50 from Letters to the Unknown Wife, a uh, mostly unfinished series that I started and I don't know if I'll ever return to. But i um, grateful for the opportunity to share that. Uh, this is uh, coming to you most likely the day after, um, day after Valentine's and uh, kind of, I thought, it speaks to that interesting space of um, the, the the project was conceived of as a series of love letters in which the beloved is never actually encountered, but the speaker constantly imagines specifics, even though they've never actually met. Um, and uh, so anyways, it's, it's kind of a weird project. Um, <laughs> looking at what is uh, desire and what is yearning um, when it's unmoored and unconnected from the physical face-to-face -face encounter with another. Um, and so anyways, that was that. I, I hope you enjoyed that reading and that poem. And uh, if you did, please consider liking the video with, <coughs> with a thumbs up. And um, if you want to support the channel, just uh, comment below, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon or share these links on social media. Uh, all this helps support the poets and the presses and brings more visibility to the work of contemporary poets everywhere. And I, I think this is a small way in which we can expand the, uh, well, expand the influence and the opportunities of others to, to hear and to discover contemporary poetry, to think about what it means for them, and perhaps to discover connection with other voices that they might not have realized that they liked, um, that they felt a connection with. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you are having a wonderful week and enjoying this transition from spring, well, from winter into spring. And uh, I know I will as soon as the cold weather lets up, which we had a brief return to this week. <laughs> so we, we will look forward to, to warmth again soon hopefully. Uh, so until next time, stay safe and well, keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the work of creating and connecting with others, um, creating work and connecting ideas and communities together, I think is at the heart of what we do as artists and as writers. So um, I wish you all the best in your own creative journeys and hope to see you again soon, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And until next time, stay safe and well, and we'll See you back here in a couple days. Bye.